Ken Lung stars on HBO's Industry. I'm David Buchanan with Gold Derby. Ken, it's a real pleasure to have you today. Um, I want to start by asking about Eric, who's your character on Industry. He's a really powerful um, investment banker at Pierpoint Bank in London. What was it like to get into the mindset and the culture of finance? And how did you master what is uh, definitely some very tricky uh, technical language? Um, well, it, it's... It was completely foreign to me this world uh in the beginning so i was you know kind of really nervous about that part um luckily the creators uh conrad and mickey they're both you know conrad was uh, uh he was a trader and mickey worked in mergers and acquisitions so they they have lived experience um that they really you know they made themselves very accessible to us at, at all times even when we're not on set, you know, I, I felt very free to email them questions, you know, as, as idiotic as they were. Um, I tried to emphasize, you know, please explain everything to me as if I'm five years old. Um, and they were very good with their answers. And so I felt there was a safety net, you know, that they, it's evident in their writing, actually, that it comes from lived experience so you trust the material you trust your team um and once i kind of embraced that you know i i just played <laughs> you know it's uh i i just ha had a good time my holla is so is really fun and easy to to act with and be with as is the whole cast um they're very young as as you know uh, many of them are not uh, far from graduating from drama school. And so in that respect, it echoes their characters to a degree who've just graduated, you know, from school and are entering this world. And it brought that youth brought this kind of electricity in the air. Everybody, for, for many of them, this was their first big show. They were excited. You know, so there was that, there was, there was that in the air and I really fed off them as well. Um, so what I thought was foreign um, was kind of very, very easy. You put on the suit, you immediately feel a different way, you know, um, and being kind of, you know, the, the quote unquote elder of the group um gave me a sort of you know uh, i don't know a, a feeling of uh you know take charge feeling um so so yeah that i think that's how <laughs> that's yeah. how yeah yeah our and our first introduction to your character is actually in this interview scene with uh harper um played by as you said uh Mihala harold who's just uh, incredible in the role uh, and there's a great moment in that exchange where she's giving an answer to one of Eric's questions and you have this kind of fleeting look of amazement and excitement on your face. I'm wondering what's going through your head in that moment and what do you think Eric sees in Harper that uh, makes him take uh, take a chance on her and hire her for this competitive job? I'm not sure which what moment you're talking about, but I, I will share that uh there was a lot of leeway to kind of improvise during that scene that was our very first scene actually that we shot i had just met her in hours ago before we shot that scene it's kind of real life getting to know each other and play with each other uh to it um that coupled with lena dunham uh was di directed that episode and she she was very open to improvisation, even just to get into it, you know? Um, so that, so we, we did a lot of different things. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure which, which moment you're talking about. So I, I can't speak to what was on my mm. mind. I will say that probably many different things ran through my mind during the course of shooting that scene as it was, a lot of it was improv based and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I don't know if yeah. that answers your question. 
Yeah, um, I, I'm also just wondering, I mean, it's that's a really interesting introduction to the most, one of the most central and important relationships in the entire series between Eric and Harper. And their dynamic changes so much over the course of the eight episodes. I'm wondering if you could just talk a bit more about uh, working with Mahala and exploring that dynamic because they really are on this kind of roller coaster as mentor and mentee, but the power dynamic is is so complex as well. So, what was it like trying to find that um, over the course of eight episodes? I I really found her to be kind of a, a safe space. I'm um I mean, on the face of it, we are two Americans in the company of uh, non Americans. Um, more than that, we're both we both come from American marginalized communities. So we, we, we kind of bonded instantly from hello. Uh, so she was, and she was willing to kind of go anywhere. And she's also a very, um, even though she's young, she's, very, she's a very intuitive actor and, and she knows what works for her. And, and, she uh, didn't hold back on, on sharing that. Like, for example, there was a scene where I'm kind of dressing her down. Uh, I lock the door, I forget which episode that is. And we have this kind of intense face off where I'm basically yelling at her and screaming in her face. And for her, you know, we shot that a few times and she was like, you know, me, my holla, I don't really respond to people yelling at me, I kind of shut down. So how about we try it um, where you're just talking to me as, as we do, because you know I respect you, I respond to you. And if you were sincerely upset with me, I would really take, that would affect me. So let's, let's try it that way. And so we did, and it was great. I mean, both ways were great, but my point is she, and that, that's that's kind of unusual, you know, mm. um, to kind of say, okay, I, I need this. I see that it's going a certain way. Let's try, you know, and, and that, the, the trying, the let's try a different way is an environment created by, you know, the makers of this. So they created a, a kind of a freedom that allowed us to do that in the first place. So that was great. Um, yeah, I mean, we've, you know, stayed in touch. She she moved during, we both moved, actually. Oh, this is funny. We both coincidentally moved during uh, lockdown. Um, and coincidentally, we're three blocks from each other. Wow. <laughs> in, in, uh, in Brooklyn. So, I don't know, we have a kind of symbiotic thing happening. Yeah, I'm so glad you mentioned that pivotal scene and I think it's the fifth episode uh, in the conference room that confrontation because it does kind of turn their entire relationship on its head um, and changes it for the for the rest of the season but there's yeah. a there's an earlier scene too uh, in the previous episode where there's a really genuine and heartfelt moment between Eric and and Harper when he kind of admits to her that he knows what's going on with some of the you know mystery of her background that the audience is aware of but is willing to overlook it. And there seems to be a real genuine kind of kinship between the two characters. Can you talk about shooting that scene in particular? Because it's one of the, I think, emotional highlights of the entire season. That was one, that was, I believe our final scene together, actually. Wow. The schedule was such that we, cause that was outside. Um, so that was in London. Whereas the trading floor was, you know, it was just in different cities. And by that time we had shot pretty much the entire season already. So we were comfortable with each other. Although I have to say we were comfortable from the get-go. Um, but you know, maybe our friendship was, uh, had deepened by then. Um, but so far as just, just remembering that scene, we had, a, we had an idea that it would be in the rain, there was a rain machine, but it was windy, got it got all over us. It just, it was like, it took some doing <laughs> getting that. Um, which actually sometimes uh, has the effect of helping you because if, if the circumstances are kind of tricky or hard, you know, you, 
uh, in addition to already having a natural, you know, camaraderie with your, hopefully with your scene mates, you kind of come together even more, <laughs> you know, if it's super cold or whatever, um, you know, all you have is each other. So it, it has a bonding. Uh, and I, I think it did for us. Yeah, there's um there's a scene later in the season that you're not in where Harper is talking to Daria, who's also one of the managers on your desk. And Daria describes Eric as a textbook narcissist. I'm wondering, do you agree with Daria's assessment as Ken? Um, and if yes or if no, what do you think is underlying some of Eric's um, more unflattering behavior over the course of the over the course of the season? I think I would agree. Um, I mean, to on the face of it, I would agree. I, I I'm reluctant to just put one word one one word label onto anybody, but uh, you know, it's hard to argue with with that. I feel that with Eric, some of his sort of scorched earth methods has gotten away from him a little bit. I think he adopted a certain kind of world domination, you know, demeanor to survive and to get ahead. And by the time he did get ahead, it had become his thing. And I think it it's it's a little it's a little in control of him versus the other way around. So he loses it sometimes. Um, and I think he does things like change his clothes on the trading floor, carry a baseball bat around. Um, not so much, you know, half for others, but the other half is really for himself to try to take control that he knows he's lost to a degree. Um, so yeah, narcissist, but almost unwittingly so to, <laughs> to you know, to a certain extent. Yeah, uh, TV, TV viewers know you from so many of your um, regular and recurring roles on shows like Lost, uh, The Blacklist, um, of course, your guest spot, guest spot on The Sopranos, The Night Shift. Um, I'm wondering what this role on industry allowed you to do that so many of the other roles that you've done, your countless roles on TV, you've never been able to maybe tap into before. What does Eric allow you to play or find that, that other roles um, that you've done so far haven't? I think somebody who creates his own reality, somebody who is allowed to kind of walk around like he owns the place because he thinks he does. Just this, just a, this powerful, um, you know, he, he has a swagger that I, that, that I, I don't know that I've played a character that's had that before. Um, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that kind of broken down. I don't know if it will be or not, or to what degree it will be. Um, but, you know, you, it's so fun to have a swagger. And then I suspect it's even more fun to break it down. So, so I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, um, I wanted to get your opinion on Eric's fate in the at the end of industry because the last few episodes we really don't know quite what will happen to Eric, and then yeah. he's brought back into the fold in a really exciting and interesting way. What do you right. think of that, and and how like wh how do you think his relationship with Harper is going to be moving forward? Well, we leave them kind of mid table turning, um, so you know I don't I don't. On one hand, I don't want to give anything away. And on the other hand, I don't want to call it something that could limit the playing of it. Um, I will acknowledge that tables are turning. How they kind of position themselves in that, you know, remains to be seen. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and finally, um, you did. You just mentioned you're hoping to see maybe the deconstruction of Eric Swagger in the final yeah. season. Yeah. Um, 
is there anything anything else I, I'm sure you've seen maybe a little bit of what's what's ahead is there anything else you're hoping to see for Eric uh, as you start going into the new episodes well we got a glimpse of you know his little girls in the grocery store I'd like to see the part of his life that we never see um, I, I don't know if we will to, to be honest um, but I, I mean I kind of always go there like I, I'm curious about the, you know the character who's who's not you know in the setting that the story is in like what what happens when when he leaves work what is he what, what is, does he have a routine? Um, what happens when that routine is, uh, you know, played with? So I'm I'm curious to see his. Uh, we've met a little bit. We've met his wife for a little bit. Met his girls for a little bit. I'm curious about them. Ken, congratulations on the first season of HBO's Industry, and thanks Thank so much you. for talking to Gold Thank Derby today. Thank you so much. 